Occultism is a menace that has eaten deep into the Nigerian society. Every year, thousands of youths die as a result of different court clashes across various school campuses and on the streets of Nigeria. These court groups now operate like the mafias and street gangs of America. Members of these secret court groups often swear an oath of allegiance or go into covenant with each other. They are to defend their beliefs and practices down to their last breath. It is a major vice that is very common in tertiary institutions and on the streets of today's Nigeria and even the government couldn't put an end to it. It has also found its way into the secondary schools in the country. For instance, in March 2020, the Akwaibom state government alone uncovered 51 court groups and societies in secondary schools across the state. After a deadly court clash amongst these schools left several secondary school students' death. Too bad. Courtism itself started for a good cause back then in the early 1950s, but over time, things have changed and in contemporary Nigerian society, courtism has constituted a major social problem and vice. In the early stage of its formation, it started off as fraternities and they were strictly confined within university campuses with the motive of maintaining law and order on campuses they were violent free and members of this group socialized freely rendered social services gave gift to the orphanages and inspired the fights for the liberation of the nigerian students from oppression elitism and the shackles of colonialism in fact it was not until the 1990s that they began to spread to the street and crease of nigeria they now operate both on campus and off campus, often with members who never went to the university at all and they have increasingly resorted to crime and violence. In this video, we bring to you the seven most dangerous court groups in Nigeria, how they were formed, mode of operation and some of their sayings and chants. But before we begin, if you're new to our channel, you're highly welcome to Laura Emmy TV and please do want to hit on that subscribe button and do not forget to turn on the notification bell so you can always stay notified and updated whenever we upload a new video. We upload very interesting content every day. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. It all started in 1952 at the then University College Ibadan, which is now known as the University of Ibadan. In 1952, seven young students of the college who were best of friends and called themselves the Magnificent Seven, due to their outstanding level of intelligence and academic performance, formed the Pirate Confraternity, which would also be known as the CEDOS Confraternity. The seven students were Nigerian Nobel laureate and literary icon Professor Wole Suinka, AIG Umokwende, Payos Olegbe, Raf Okbara, Nat Oyelola, Ifabale Amata, and Olumiwa Awe. At that time, University College Ibadan was filled with worthy students backed by colonial powers who were oppressing their fellow students from poorer or average backgrounds. And these guys, who were known as the Magnificent Seven, created this fraternity to tackle these problems and oppression. The intention of the founders of this group were completely genuine and for the benefits of the less privileged ones in the university. They were known for their intellectual approach to issues rather than violence. Their cohesiveness was absolute allegiance to rules and membership was only meant for the cleanest, the brightest and the political conscious students on campus. No wonder they were called the Magnificent Seven or a light club. Their actions were exemplary and worthy as they socialized freely without trampling on the fundamental rights and freedoms of fellow students or lecturers either within or outside the university community. They never indulged in any form of negative behavior that is common amongst the present-day student courses. They have three objectives which were to abolish convention, to revive the age of chivalry, and to end tribalism and elitism. The motto of the confraternity was against all conventions and the fraternity symbol comprised its call, two crossbones and an anchor. 
the original founders, known as the Magnificent Seven, were committed to the pirates' theme. They used to pretend to be pirates, wearing bandanas and carrying cutlasses. Professor Willis Winker, in an interview, told the BBC that they were just having fun with a social orientation and it wasn't that deep. But over the years, due to the doctrinal differences of individual members of the Pirates Confraternity and the inability of intending members to measure up with the required standard set out by the Sea Dogs, some members broke out to form their own group and this was where things began to fall apart. Shortly after independence, Students' Confraternity became derailed from the original path of fighting against oppression, exploitation, and social injustice. Surprisingly, what started as an intellectual platform eventually became known and associated with violence and members were deeply involved in drunkenness, excessive smoking, brutality, drug abuse, miming, rape and killing of innocent students. In fact, Wole Swinka described these new groups as vile and evil. In an interview with the BBC, he said, and I quote, At no time did I imagine that anything could degenerate, and why did it degenerate? Instead of these kids being treated as, as criminals they were, they were being protected by their parents and their relations. The pirates, of which Swinka is still a member, now exist as a group dedicated to humanitarian and charitable endeavors. It no longer recruits students and its leadership took it off campus in 1984 in order to distance the pirates from violence. And here are some of the most dangerous cult groups in Nigeria today. At the number one spot is the National Association of Sea Lords, also known as the Bokanias Association of Nigeria or the Alora Sea Lords. In 1972, some expelled and protesting members of the Sea Dogs Confraternity, led by Bolaji Karu, who was nicknamed Rika Ricardo, and his friend Kunle Adigun, formed the National Association of Sea Lords, which is also known as the Bokanias Confraternity, and they almost became more powerful than their mother cults on some campuses. Arguably, it is believed that the original creators of these cult groups could not meet up to the high academic and intellectual standard set by the Sea Dogs, so the Bokanias Confraternity was basically a hive for students who could not also meet up with this high standard set by the sea dogs. Members of the sea lords or the Bokanians call themselves fine boys, band boys, alora, bucket men, lords, etc. And some of their beliefs and sayings include no price, no pay, no brothers in the wood, no laughing on board, blood for blood, let the devil that leads you guide you. And the second is the new black movement of Africa, otherwise known as the Black Ass Confraternity or the IA Axemen. The new black movement of Africa, also known as the Black Ass Confraternity, originated from the University of Benin. Some students at the, at the University of Benin in Benin City formed it in 1976 to fight oppression against the black man or the students in the university. It is believed that the Black Axe founders were runaways from the new black movement of Africa, an organization in South Africa. It is also believed that these men fought apartheid in South Africa and they escaped to Nigeria for safety and brought that notion with them. Black Axe symbol is the axe and members call themselves Aye, Axe Men, Seven or Amigos. Here are some of their beliefs and saying, The black man will be freed with an axe. No for calls. Forgiveness is a sin. Don't betray your brother in the wood. Obey before complain or abayas. He who prize must pay. And the third is the association of Air Lord Supreme or the AA Confraternity, also known as the Habakraya. 
the supreme air Year confraternity which is also known as the national association of air lords is a popular court group in nigeria that was formed and founded by some students of the university of ibadan in 1963. this is one of the oldest court groups you can find in nigeria university still date and it is also affiliated with the popular AA secret society which exists in major parts of the southwestern Nigeria. The AA confraternity was formed by Goki Adeniji, Dele Uwakbele, Bayo Adenobi, Bode Fadase, Tunde Aloko, Kayode Oke, and Bode Sowomi, amongst others, and they were students studying at the University of Ibadan as at that time. It was established to, to positively impact its members' social, political, cultural, physical, and mental development, and was indifferent to other conventional court groups. The movement's motto is There are no enemies, there are no friends, just a confraternity and discipline. Their symbol is a landing eagle, and members call themselves flyers, air force, air lord, etc. Just like the sea dogs, it is believed that the founding members of this court group had good intentions like making a positive impact on the social political mind and impacting on the physical and mental development of its members when they started out. But too bad, the group has not turned out to be one of the deadliest court groups on the campuses and streets of various Nigerian universities today. Some slangs and beliefs of the members of these court groups include secrecy, autocracy, discipline, brotherhood, no fry, no foe, and many more. And at the fourth place is the Supreme Vikings Confraternity or the National Association of Adventurers. The Supreme Viking Confraternity, which is also known as the National Association of Adventurers or the Northmen Club of Nigeria, is a court group which was founded by some students of the University of Patakot in the year 1982. The founders of this confraternity, which was referred to as the Norsemen Club of Nigeria as at that time, were said to be former members of the Buccaneers at the University of Port Harcourt. The three founding members of the Supreme Viking confraternities were codenamed Rising Angel, Eric the Red, and Tropens. Some popular slangs and beliefs of members of the Supreme Viking confraternity include Blood on the High Sea singing songs of hojas, never to hang a leg even in the face of death, and many more. They also refer to themselves as aromates, adventurers, vultures, etc. And at the fifth spot is the family fraternity or the Kusa Nozira or the Mafia Confraternity, also known as the Siasons. This court group was formed in 1978 at the University of Ilorin in Kwara State, but started operation in Obafemi Aulowo University, Ile Ife, in 1980. It started with eight students called the Ono Brigado, or the First Brigade, with the, with the first dawn known as Don Cool Cards. This cult is tied after the notorious Chicago and Italian Mafia and mob stars. They refer to their members as MAF or Mafians, while they refer to non members of their cult as bastards. Members of this cult group believe in secrets, revenge, gambling, partying, dating girls, and many more. Their chants and sayings include It is better for a bastard to chance and provoke a member than a numbered bastard that is members of other cults. Retaliation after oppression and secrecy is where our power lies. And at the sixth port is the eternal fraternal order of Legion Consortium, also known as Dead in a Dead or Clansmen Confraternity. In 1983, Five students of the University of Calabar in Cross River State founded the Eternal Fraternal Order of the Legion Consortium, also known as the Clansmen Confraternity or Dead in a Dead. Dead in a Dead borrowed ideas from a cult in California and members worship a demon called Ogo. The demon's symbol is an image of a human skull believed to be a madman and members call themselves Clansmen. They perform an oath 
to prove their loyalty and believe their mission puts them above all other type of courtism in Nigeria. Their belief and sayings include the affairs of a clansman before any other thing in life. What consigns a clansman consigns all clansmen. Status of other cult members are not considered or relevant. Oath of secrecy abide to all members. Peaceful man in a deadly mood disagree to agree. And at the last spot is the Mafite or the Green Circuit Association. Well, unlike others, the origin and objectives of this very cult group is not really known. However, based on its activities, this cult group is considered dangerous as report cites this court as being responsible for a lot of bloodshed during court clashes in Ambrose Ali University Benin, Edo State in the South South region of Nigeria and it has its strong base in Benin City where it is believed to have originated. <laughs>